Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. So in this video, we're gonna look at how to run and debug uh, iOS MAUI app from Windows. So as many of you know, you, uh, you need a Mac to kind of run iOS testing. And so in this video, we're gonna look at how you can do it from Windows so you don't have to actually move if all your development environment is in Windows and you're used to like Visual Studio and Windows and everything. You can do it from Windows. You just have to have a Mac that you can remote it into. One option would be to just use kind of like type VNC and use it as a remote desktop but actually the remote desktop stuff is not great in a Mac. And I'm gonna link the documentation to the, from .NET MAUI that kind of covers a lot of this stuff. Instead of you having to go and scavenger hunt everything, I'm just gonna go through all the stuff you have to do. So first thing you have to do is get your Mac up and running. So you have to enable remote login either for all users or the user you're gonna log into. Uh, you'll have to use the username of that person and then the IP address. Another thing you'll need is Xcode and the latest version. And one thing that I recommend doing is actually just creating a random test project on Xcode, just like the default and running it because there's like a developer certificate that you have to create and other little setups that kind of Xcode will make sure your Mac is ready to, ready to run code in, in their iPhone simulator. So once you have it up and running, you're kind of like good with Xcode and then you, you can go back into Windows. And here you would do add a Mac. I already added it just so you don't have to see me typing it up, but you would enter your IP address here and then you'll enter your password and you'll connect. And when you connect, Visual Studio is actually gonna make sure that you have all dependencies up and, and up and running. So make sure you have .NET and everything, everything that you don't have, it'll actually install it for you. So it does a lot of the heavy lifting for you. So once it's connected, you kind of can start building on the Mac. And so in here, you would actually select the iOS simulator that you wanna use. And let's say in here, we wanna use the iPhone 12 and you're gonna run it. The first time it's actually gonna take a while because it's creating the, the iPhone and running it and everything. And after a while, your app will be debugging in the iPhone in Apple. And you're probably thinking like, hey, Flamingo, you told me this was gonna be running on my computer. I still have to remote into the Mac. To do that, you can actually just do it very quickly by just stopping this, going into tools, options, Xamarin, iOS settings, remote simulator to Windows. And what this is gonna do is the next time you run it, oh, you can see the iPhone running on a window in, in Windows and all it's doing is actually just projecting the, the device that it's running on your Mac onto your Windows machine. So that's how you debug a .NET MAUI app and iOS device from Windows. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.